Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series, and in this video, I'm going to talk about an introduction to platformers in your Yusina engine. So in this video, I'm going to introduce the platformer in Yusina engine, and I hope you like it. A simple way to get started is to use the built-in platformer controller, and it's pretty basic. So later on, you might want to develop your own platformer module, but for beginners, it is a good starting point. So first of all, we can import the Yusina module by writing from Yusina import star and we also want to import the platformer controller so we can write from yusina.prefabs dot platformer platformer controller 2d import platformer controller 2d and now what we could do is to create our basic app so app is equal to Yusina and app.run. And once I've created this uh, basic setup, I can actually create a player. So I'll set player equal to platformer controller 2D. I'll set the Y equal to 1 and the Z equal to 0 0.01. And that Y and Z are just the coordinates in the Y and Z direction. So if I save and run this, well, let's see, player is equal to platformer controller 2D. Y, there should be a comma. And you should have saw an orange rectangle drop and disappear at the bottom boundary of the window. And this is because of gravity. So in a platformer game, the player will drop and keep dropping under gravity unless there is a level below to stop it. So let's add our ground underneath the player to prevent it from dropping. Now to create our ground, I'm going to have a ground variable is equal to an entity. I'm going to set the model equal to a quad. With the y is equal to negative 2. Set the scale x equal to 10. I'm going to set it as a box collider. And set the color equal to yellow. So color is equal to color.yellow. So if I save and run this again, now I added a ground beneath my player. And this just prevents our player from dropping. And you have to note that the um, that to have the rectangle rectangle stopped on the ground, you'll need to add a collider to the ground entity, otherwise it won't work. You see I added a box collider right here. The default scale for a player is 1 in the x direction and 2 in the y direction, and the default color is orange. Now we could change the setting, for example if we want the player to be a 1 by 1 square with the color of green, then we could set this when we create the player. So I can add more parameters to my player. Let's set the scale y equal to 1 and the color of our player to green. So color is equal to color not green. Now you notice that our player is a 1 by 1 square and the color is green now. Now we can also move our player. So if I run this again, if I press the A key on our keyboard, I can move left. If I press the D key on our keyboard, I can move right. So here I'm moving left and right, left and right. And then when I press the space key, you'll notice that I'm able to jump. So I'm jumping right here. I'm jumping again. And basically, if you move the player out of the ground entity, so off of this platform, you'll notice that I fell again because there's nothing holding me up. So we can also make a wall so that the player will be stopped when it moves horizontally. So I'm going to add another wall and set it equal to an entity with the model equal to a quad. Set the color equal to color dot zero. Set the scale equal to one five. So one in the x, y five in the y. Set the x equal to five point five. And of course we need to add in a collider. And this is going to be a box collider. So if I save and run this, I have my player, I can move my player around, and when my player touches this wall, it can no longer move to the right, because this wall is blocking my player. And again, this wall entity also needs a collider for it to work, which we added right here, a box collider. Let's create another level to see if the player can jump on it. So I'm going to create another level, and this is equal to an entity. The model equal to a quad. The color is going to be red. 
I'm going to set the color to red. Set the scale equal to 3 in the x, 1 in the y. Set the x equal to 2, and set the collider equal to a box collider. So now if I save and run this, I have a level right here. I can move my player, and I can jump on this new level. Right like that. And when it falls on this level, basically it acts as a ground, so I can't go through it. Now if the player goes under the red level like this, it won't be able to jump, even if I press the space key, because this level is preventing me um, from going upwards. Now the player can also be stopped not only by the wall on the side and the ground below, but also by the ceiling above. And we can see this by trying to jump under the level entity. Now to see it more clearly, let's create a ceiling level. So I'm going to create a ceiling, and this is going to be equal to an entity with a model equal to a quad. Set the color equal to color.cyan. Set the scale equal to 3 in the x, 1 in the y. Set the x equal to negative 2.5. Set the y equal to 1. And I need to add in a collider, which is going to be a box collider. So if I run this, you'll notice that I have another ceiling right here. And when the player jumps and reaches the ceiling, it's going to be stopped underneath it and be bounced back. And this is because the player is always under the effect of gravity, hence it has a tendency of falling down. So in this video, we showed a player that can jump to another level, um, can be blocked by a wall, and can land on the ground. And it can also fall indefinitely under gravity if there's no level underneath. Uh, this can also be blocked by a ceiling. And basically, we have all the elements we need to make a more complicated platformer game in the Ursina engine. So this is the end of this video. If you have any comments, please put them below at the comment section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.